Hello everyone, Carlos Melendez here with the Florida Resale Team, your South Florida real estate resource. I wanted to take a quick moment in order to address a question that's been coming up a lot ever since I was featured in the November-December issue of Florida Realtor Magazine. For the realtors here in Florida who received the publication, you've probably already read the Tech and Use section that features, of course, yours truly discussing an application that I use on a daily basis in my business called PDF Expert. It is truly the best $10 you're ever going to spend on an app for your iOS device. The beautiful part about this app is that it allows you to take PDFs, such as our contracts, addendums, and so forth, and it allows you to type them on your iPad, it allows you to modify them, obtain signatures, brand them, annotate them, and so much more. Now, the question that keeps coming up from all my colleagues in the industry is, how do you take the forms that you would get from your company or from Form Simplicity or Zip Forms or any vendor that provides us our contracts and make them interactive on PDF Expert on your iPad. And truly it's quite simple. A lot of these forms will actually work directly on PDF Expert as long as they are static PDF Pro forms and as long as they're unlocked. Now the problem is, is that the majority of these forms tend to be XML formatted PDFs, which in plain English just won't work with PDF Expert. Now, the nice thing about PDF Expert is that when a form arises that's an XML format, it'll actually prompt you and let you know that it's a dynamic XML form and unfortunately it's not supported with PDF Expert. Now, PDF Expert will give you two options. You can actually send the form to them by simply clicking the send to us icon on the top right corner of the announcement, or you can modify the form yourself and create it or convert it into a static PDF form. And they actually give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. So I'm going to walk you through those instructions to hopefully help you guys out in getting this accomplished. Now the first thing you want to do is download Adobe Lifecycle. Now this is a program offered by Adobe. You can get it directly from their website and unfortunately it does have a pretty hefty price tag. However, the nice thing about it is that Adobe offers a 60-day trial. So I suggest download or get all the forms from your company that you're going to need to use on a daily basis and convert them all at once within that 60-day trial period so you don't have to buy the program. However, once you've downloaded the Lifecycle program onto your computer, the next step is to go ahead and open the PDF document that you want to make an interactive form in Adobe Lifecycle. Once you open this form in Adobe Lifecycle, go ahead and click Save As. And once you do that, make sure that you save the document as an Adobe static PDF. Once you do this, you're able to go ahead and then take that form into your Dropbox or Google iDrive account. And in turn, you can access it from PDF Expert, and it should be a typable form from that point on. If not, the other form that way of converting this file is by saving the form again on your computer, lock the form, make sure it's flattened so that it can't be edited, and then take the form once again, open it in the lifecycle program. At that point, it'll bring up a wizard that will allow you to convert the document into an interactive form. Once it does this, save the form onto your computer, put it into your Dropbox or Google iDrive account, and then access it from your PDF expert. I know it seems a little complicated, however, if you didn't get it from this tutorial, you can always go on, on different websites such as YouTube and search how to create an interactive PDF form. And you'll have a lot of helpful videos on there that show you how to use Lifecycle as well as other tools that allow you to create interactive forms for you to use on PDF expert. I hope that this explanation has helped a lot of you. I hope that you're able to use the PDF Expert program in a lucrative way as I have. And I hope it serves its purpose well. Till next time, God bless.